So I made an add-on to help you transfer files and animations between Blender and Cascader and now I would like to show you how to install and use it and what my plans are for the future. To install the add-on go to the GitHub page that's linked in the description and search for the releases on the right side and click the latest release and download the Cascader bridge.zip, don't download the source code. So I will download it and then we can open Blender and you need to install the add-on the usual way so edit, preferences, install, go to the folder you downloaded it and in a couple of seconds it appears on the UI you need to check the checkbox, you can find some information about the add-on here and you will need to set the path of the Cascader executable file. If you install Cascader to the default path, it will automatically recognize it on Windows. Otherwise, you will need to set it manually. So go to the folder where Cascader is installed and select the X file. And now we will need to copy files that Cascader needs for the add-on to work. If I click the install requirements button I will get an error because I don't have permission to copy files to the program files folder. So I will restart Blender as an administrator and now I go back to the preferences and I can now install the required files. And now you'll find the add-on on the side panel and start Cascader from here. If you now check, you will find the external commands section in the commands file. These are the scripts or commands that the add-on uses. Don't try to execute it from here because you will get an error. The export selected and import scene buttons are hopefully obvious. In both cases it will first export an FBX file and import it on the other side with hard-coded settings. These are the settings that works for me, but I want to make these settings customizable with the next update. The import action function will become available if you select an armature object and it will import the active scene from Cascader, which is this animation, and it will get the action from the imported FBX file and apply it to the selected armature. And it will then delete all of the imported objects. And it will name the action as Cascader Action. I wanted to use the scene name from Cascader, but unfortunately it's not possible at the moment to get the scene name with the Cascader Python API. And by the way, if you want to use the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, this transform object for some reason doesn't really work with FBX files. A workaround that I read on the Discord server is to unparent the armature and the mesh from this transform and then delete it so it will be the same but without the transform object and it doesn't messes up and uh, import to blender i tried to handle most issues that could come up with the anon but i'm sure i didn't cover everything so i would suggest you to save your scene before you try to use the anon but if for some reason Cascader crashes, you probably need to also stop the process manually from Task Manager. And if you find any bugs, please report it on the issues page on GitHub. I will try to fix everything that comes up. And in the future I would like to add more functionalities. Uh, first and most important would be the import and export settings for both Cascader and Blender. And other ideas that I have are bulk importing every open scene from Cascader and maybe stash the actions in the NLA in Blender and maybe an option to set up an identical camera in Cascader. But if you have any other ideas, I would love to hear them and maybe we can implement it in the future. It was really nice to read all of your lovely comments on the teaser video and I'm glad that you are as excited as I am. I hope you will find the add-on useful and it actually works for you and it will make your life easier.